Good afternoon, everyone. This is the Global Cooling Rundown from January 1st to January 9th, 2018. Thirty-two degrees below zero in the northeast U.S. Another temperature gradient map here for you coming through the New Year holiday. December chill, bitter cold. I want to know if my bitter cold and your bitter cold are the same. So if you think minus 45 degrees is bitter cold, then yeah, we're on the same page. But this is in the United States, not in the Arctic Circle. Bitter cold jet stream. That dark blue coming out of Canada is minus 50 to minus 60 degrees Fahrenheit. This pipeline of cold air really pulling down into the Gulf of Mexico. Weather Channel here. Let's go through the progression in the next three days as you go through the New Year holiday. Wind chill forecast. Taking a look at Myrtle Beach 26. Freezing's 32. When we look at Little Rock, Arkansas, 11 degrees. Places like Atlanta, 22. Down to Pensacola, Florida, 22 degrees. Baton Rouge, 17. Jackson, Mississippi, 10 degrees. Atlanta, 14 degrees. These temperatures, unbelievable. Brutal Arctic air. Even the highs in Jackson, Mississippi are only going to be 18 degrees. Cosmic rays spiking. You didn't hear that. Over 90% of the lower 48 in the U.S. was frozen over the new year. Update on the bombogenesis rolling over the Canadian Maritimes. Strong windstorms in Europe as well. Cyclones out of place in Australia. And the fourth industrial revolution, unlike anything humankind has experienced before, these are the industries that are going to be disrupted. Media now needs to contend with record cold temperatures blanketing the northern hemisphere. So what do they do in their graphics? Warm air, warm air, and talk a little bit about the cold. Second year in a row, deep snows blanket the Sahara Desert. Tornadoes in France, January 7th. You've been told that the record cold's only been in the United States and Canada. Well, record cold in Asia, record cold in Thailand, record cold in Myanmar, and record cold across Central Asia. Sun dogs in Ontario. And as we move deeper into the grand solar minimum, expect electromagnetic changes, meaning as the next solar cycles decrease in intensity, our jet streams are going to start to wander because our magnetosphere is weakening. And these Arctic troughs are going to push further and further south as we move into solar cycle 25. As expected, global warming is to blame for all the record cold temperatures. USA Today will say, hey, don't let this cold fool you. Climate scientists say that. Wait, I thought the article was about record cold, but they'll tell you that it's the warmest in 100 years in the southwest U.S. Santa's going to need to move to the South Pole, according to the Canadian government. And all because of global warming, the minus 22 Fahrenheit sending obscure smoke off the Great Lakes, and Niagara Falls freezing, and the boat rescues across the Hudson River as a vessel's trapped there. That's all due to record heat, basically. But down in Australia, it is record heat. The jet streams are flipping out of place. We're going into a grand solar minimum. Let's look at the last two and see where the matchups are in temperature where it's cooling now, which it will continue to cool just like it did in the Maunder minimum. Record breaking winter cold. Don't worry, the climate explainers have it covered. It's unreliable diagnostics of planetary conditions as the ice melt rate increases. They're talking about the Arctic. When we look at the ice map, that's not even included on the regular ice extended so far south just above New York City. China's seventh country now for bubonic plague. And when we look back at Greenland ice cores, there's a definite correlation of grand solar minimum and disease outbreaks. Thousands of bats drop dead from the trees, frozen sharks. We were told the science was settled and now NASA detects electric blue strange clouds over Antarctica and they found that the winter air temperatures in many North American cities are correlated with the frequency of noctilucent clouds but they still need to study it more because they just discovered that. 